As you might have heard, there's going to be a federal election. But if you've never voted before, do not panic. Because from now until election day, we here at The Guardian are going to be teaching you everything you need to know. It's Voting 101 for 2022 with Matilda Bosley from The Guardian, Australia. If you're going to be 18 or older by May, chances are you're going to have to vote. So here's something you can do today that will take 10 minutes and save you a bunch of stress when election time rolls around. And that is enroll to vote. See, voting in Australia is compulsory, and if you don't do it, you're going to be whacked with a whopping $20 fine. I mean, you'll also be, like, giving up your, like, democratic right to self-determine the kind of nation you want Australia to be, but, like, it's mostly the $20 fine. However, in order to vote, you need to enrol. So that's why you're going to grab your laptop or your phone and you're going to Google Enroll to Vote AEC and click this link. To enrol, you're going to need to be 16 or over, an Australian citizen, and have been living at your current address for at least a month. You are also going to need your license or your passport, or if you don't have either of those, someone who's already enrolled to vote who can vouch for your identity. So we're gonna click enroll to vote, enroll to vote for the first time, and then just fill out all your details. It will take like five minutes tops. If you're using your license or your passport, you just need to sign the declaration online and you're done. If you've got someone vouching for your identity, you are gonna to need to print off the form, get them to sign it, and then mail it off. But either way, it's still pretty easy and you're $20 richer. While we're here, there's also a couple of special categories of voters that you can register as on the website. If, say, you're gonna be overseas during the election, like on a gap year or studying or whatever, you're gonna to need to sign up as an overseas voter. You can also apply to become something called a silent voter if you have a valid reason why it might be unsafe for you to have your address publicly available on the electoral roll. And if it's difficult for you to physically go to a polling booth on election day, you can register to have your ballots mailed to you. Oh, and my personal favorite, if you're headed to Antarctica during the election, there's actually a category for you too. So there you have it. One thing off your to-do list and better yet, now the Australian Electoral Commission won't send you like a bunch of annoying letters urging you to sign up once the election is called. It's a win-win.